Yo, this is Iron Head 41. I thought I'd try something this year I ain't never tried before. I'm gonna bucket plant some potatoes. What I did was I got some metal buckets and I burned them out. Make sure there ain't no chemicals, nothing in it. Filled it halfway up with that good uh, organic mix, pot and soil you get at Wally World for $8 for a great big bag. And uh, I put two potato eyes in each one. Each one's got about uh, two, three uh, sprouts coming out of them. Eyes are coming out. Uh, make sure you tater eyes when you put them in, they're still green. Green on the uh, on the new plants coming up. If, if they're all completely brown, throw them away. They done dried up too much. You see I put two in each one. The reason I did that is, is uh, whichever one takes better and uh, grows faster, I'll pull the other one out and uh, maybe transplant it in another bucket. So what I did was I filled it halfway up and I'm going to throw a little water on right on top of the eyeballs real good. I did poke some holes in the bottom of my bucket get them watered real good and it'll soak on through. Then take your dirt there and just barely cover it up just a little bit just like so. And uh, I am in the greenhouse because it's 40 degrees outside. We're having some of the craziest weather. 80 degrees last week. Snowed the week before. 40 degrees cold rain this week. Now what, what these potatoes do is when they grow, as the plant grows, like every week, it grows another inch, inch of dirt. And what that does is, is it'll root at that stalk and give you more potatoes. And then when, it, when you're filled up with dirt all the way to the top, that bucket should be slammed full of potatoes. Then you just pour the dirt out, but don't put it in your garden or nothing because it can get blight. And if it does that and you put it in your garden, uh, it, nothing to grow. You want to throw this, you can put it in your flower beds. It don't hurt anything. Uh, like I said, as it grows, put more dirt on it and just keep putting another inch of dirt. Uh, I ain't never done it this way. I've always dug a hole three foot deep about three foot around and then it'll fill that hole up but then also it can contaminate the ground with blight but you never plant potatoes in the same place twice two years in a row you always move them around every other year or every three years is better so that blight will get on the ground uh, but sure enough, I'm going to try this this year um, let's see how it goes and as it grows I'll do more videos on it sure enough boy the cucumbers sure come up good I'm going to try something this year I ain't never tried, and that's cauliflower. That guy is growing like weeds. That's just unbelievable. We've got tomatoes and squash growing. Uh, today is the, I don't know, 15th. I'm a few days late on planting because of the weather. A few days late of planting seeds. I'm going to plant more seeds today. My green peppers, uh, anything that's transplantable. Uh, green peppers, squash plants, more squash plants, more tomato plants and uh, things of that nature. Uh, sure enough, let's, don't plant okra, don't plant okra and see that it's not good for transplanting or beans. Or beans, you plant them straight into the ground like I said, right after uh, Easter Monday, anytime during that week, uh, after Easter Monday, which is I think the 10th of uh, April. Uh, like I said, the moon phase ain't quite right. But now on Good Friday, you can plant uh, carrots, onions, Anything that's a root crop where the bottom root grows in the ground. Uh, I did a video here a little while back about uh, last week, I believe, about canning. And uh, I do want to add a little bit to that. Uh, like I said, I'm, I am going to do some uh, canning videos this spring, uh, tomatoes and stuff. And what I'm going to do is, uh, uh, what I want to say is uh, that uh, I said you should... Uh, uh, pressure can anything that's green. Uh, I, I want to rephrase that. Plant anything green that don't have a, uh, I mean not plant, but uh, pressure cook anything green that don't have a seed in it. Anything got a seed in it, you water bath it. Like green beans, you water bath that. Uh, really about no in it would be broccoli, would be, uh, would be, uh, back again, uh, broccoli. I think I had it on my mind too. Uh, Brussels sprouts, uh, you do want to pressure cook those. Mustard greens, tonic greens, uh, 
collard greens, you can can them, sure can, can them in a pressure cooker, green beans and cucumber pickles, and if you're going to do some sweet pickles or sour pickles, uh, you should water bath those, so they, they, they don't have as much acid in them that, or whatever, uh, they got seeds in them, if they got a seed in it, water bath it, no seed, pressure cook it, that simple. Uh, Alright, well that, that's about it for this video. Uh, like I said, I, I'll, I want to do a video every few weeks, see how these do. And when they get done, probably around dog days, we'll uh, pull them out, pour a bucket out, and see what we got. Like I said, I ain't never planned them this way, but I read about it, and I'm, I'm sure going to try it. Alright, this is Ironhead.